Today, we take you to China, to the Three Gorges Dam. It's 10 years now since the massive project was completed. So why do we ask if this one was a man-made disaster? Because the Three Gorges Dam. Nestled in the heart of East Asia lies a country with a geography so vast and varied that it is said to be impossible to sum up in just a few words. From the majestic Himalayan mountains to the seemingly never-ending deserts of the north, China's terrain is a true wonder. But what if we told you that hidden among its mountains and rivers, there exists something even more incredible, a mega-project so colossal it boggles the mind and defies belief? We present to you the Three Gorges Dam the largest hydroelectric power plant in the world. But the Three Gorges Dam isn't just a testament to human engineering prowess. It's also a symbol of China's unwavering commitment to progress and innovation. Built at a cost of billions of dollars and taking years to complete, the dam has transformed the Yangtze River and its surrounding areas. But why did China undertake such a massive project? Moreover, what is the impact of this behemoth on people around the world, regardless of where they reside? Join us on a fascinating journey as we delve deeper into China's history-making project which has taken the world by storm and left American scientists stunned. The Yangtze River in China is among the world's largest and most impressive rivers, aptly named Long River due to its incredible length of 6,397 kilometers, ranking as the third longest river globally with a basin covering an area of about 1,808,500 square kilometers, it covers a fifth of China's total land mass. This river boasts over 700 tributaries, including 49 with a catchment area of over 10,000 square kilometers, and five with a length of over 1,000 kilometers. The eight tributaries of the Yangtze discharge an average of 50 cubic kilometers of water each, while the Yangtze River is a natural wonder, the man-made dams along it are a fascinating feat. Among them, the Three Gorges Dam stands out. But have you ever wondered what a dam is and how it works? Imagine a massive barrier built across rivers and streams, controlling the flow of water to serve human purposes like hydroelectricity and irrigation. Did you know there are over 55,000 dams in use worldwide? with the US boasting the second highest number of dams at 5,500. Can you guess which country tops the list? China, with a staggering 19,000 dams. Although dams have been used for centuries, the first recorded dam was the Jawa Dam, situated in what is now Jordan. Constructed around 3000 BCE in ancient Mesopotamia, this impressive feat of engineering was well ahead of its time architecturally. Unlike most ancient dams, which were simple structures made of masonry and gravel, the Jawa Dam was reinforced with a rock fill behind the upstream wall to protect against water pressure breach, a remarkable innovation for its era. Yet it would be centuries before engineers took notice and reintroduced this design in the modern age. Can you imagine a century-long journey to complete the largest dam in the world? It was a vision of Sun Yat-sen, the first proper president of China to control the flooding of the Yangtze River and display the nation's newfound strength. The project was initially planned in 1946 but abandoned due to the Chinese Civil War. Finally, in 1994, the construction of the Three Gorges Dam began. The dam's colossal size is mind-boggling, with a length of 7,661 feet and a height of almost 600 feet. The concrete work alone totaled 26.43 million cubic meters, an amount equivalent to two and a half times that of the Gajuba Barrage project. During the construction, workers moved 102.59 million cubic meters of stone and earth, poured 27.15 million cubic meters of cement, and erected 281,000 tons of metal structures. This gigantic undertaking employed 250,000 workers at its peak. So why did China finally construct the Three Gorges Dam? China built the Three Gorges Dam to achieve three primary objectives, to control flooding, to generate hydroelectric power, and to improve navigation on the Yangtze River. The dam was seen as a solution to the devastating floods that had occurred along the river in the past, causing immense human and economic loss. The project aimed to harness the flow of the river and prevent floods downstream, thereby protecting millions of people who live in the region as well as important cities that sit adjacent to the Yangtze, like Wuhan, Nanjing and Shanghai. Another key objective of the project was to generate hydroelectric power. 
With a total installed capacity of 22,500 megawatts, the Three Gorges Dam is the largest hydroelectric power station in the world. The project's electricity generation capacity is equivalent to that of 18 nuclear power plants, and it is expected to generate approximately 100 terawatt hours of electricity annually. This provides a significant source of clean energy for China, which has been heavily reliant on fossil fuels. In addition to flood control and electricity generation, the Three Gorges Dam also improves navigation on the Yangtze River. The dam locks allow ships of up to 10,000 tonnes to sail directly from the river's mouth to the inland city of Chongqing, which was previously impossible due to rapids and other obstacles. However, the construction of the Three Gorges Dam was not without controversy. The project had an estimated cost of $37 billion and used 463,000 metric tonnes of steel and 27.2 million cubic metres of concrete. The building of the dam displaced over 1 million people and resulted in the loss of numerous cultural and historical sites, leading to concerns about the project's impact on the environment and social welfare. Despite these challenges, the dam has been operational since 2009 and continues to be a significant source of power and protection for China. The construction of the Three Gorges Dam resulted in the relocation of over 1.3 million people, equivalent to the entire population of a bustling city in the US, and the government spent a staggering 100 billion yuan on the relocation effort alone. But the investments made by the government in upgrading local infrastructure and constructing major industrial projects began to pay off almost immediately. The Three Gorges Reservoir area was transformed into a foreign investment mecca, attracting over 470 foreign fund ventures and drawing a total of 1.5 billion US dollars in overseas funds. The project also improved China's emission record, reducing coal consumption by about 31 million tonnes annually and preventing millions of tonnes of greenhouse gas emissions, sulphur dioxide, nitric dioxide and dust from being released into the atmosphere. In addition, the dam increased the Yangtze River barge capacity six times over, saving an incredible amount of time and money in the transportation of goods and created a much more environmentally friendly alternative to trucking. The impact of China's Three Gorges Dam extends beyond the immediate vicinity. It has had a global impact by delaying our planet's rotation. The dam's construction required a large amount of water to be moved, causing a shift in the Earth's mass. With a reservoir that holds more than 9.4 cubic miles of water, covering over 650 miles, the total weight of the water in the dam is an astonishing 85 trillion pounds. There is a moment of inertia created by such a large mass, and this slows the Earth's rotation. Earth Day has been lengthened by 0.66 microseconds on average as a result of the reservoir's water being increased to 575 feet above sea level. The Yangtze River was a vital transportation route in China prior to the dam's construction. Throughout the six-year second phase, the builders had to ensure that the dam did not interrupt smooth navigation on the building site. To accomplish this, during the second phase of construction, they built a water diversion channel via which ships could bypass the dam site. Temporary locks were also constructed on the Yangtze's north bank. Engineers did remark, however, that during peak water flow seasons, when water flows faster than 25,000 cubic metres per second, huge ships may find it difficult to use the channel. Smaller ships have a maximum flow rate of 10,000 to 15,000 cubic metres per second. Despite this, the diversion channel ensures that passenger and cargo transport needs in the Yangtze River's upper reaches are met. The monumental task of damming the powerful Yangtze River was not an easy undertaking, as it required constructing different parts in stages. First, engineers had to build a coffer dam on the right bank while simultaneously constructing temporary and permanent ship locks on the left bank. Once the temporary ship lock was finished, the second river closure began and the coffer dam on the right bank was dismantled. This allowed the mainstream of the Yangtze River to be cut off so that the spillway and left hydroelectric dam body could be constructed. With these crucial parts completed, the coffer dam in the mainstream was then removed and a new one was erected on the right bank yet again. After the right hydroelectric dam body was finished, the coffer dam was finally removed. The Three Gorges Dam, one of the largest hydropower projects in the world, has not only transformed the Yangtze River Basin, but has also created a significant tourist attraction. The Three Gorges region 
has been famous for its breathtaking scenery and cultural heritage, and the completion of the dam project has further enhanced its appeal. The dam itself is an impressive engineering feat, and visitors can take guided tours to learn more about its construction and operation. The area around the dam, including the nearby cities of Yichang and Zigi, has developed a vibrant tourism industry, offering a wide range of activities such as river cruises, hiking and cultural tours. The Three Gorges scenic area, with its stunning natural landscapes, ancient temples and traditional villages, attracts millions of visitors every year, both from within China and abroad. In conclusion, the Three Gorges Dam is a remarkable engineering project that has transformed the landscape of the Yangtze River Basin and become an important source of clean energy for China. However, the construction and operation of the dam have also generated controversy and debate, particularly regarding its impact on the environment and local communities. Despite these challenges, the Three Gorges Dam has proven to be a symbol of China's economic and technological progress and has attracted millions of visitors as a popular tourist destination. As we continue to grapple with the complex issues surrounding hydropower and sustainable development, the Three Gorges Dam will undoubtedly remain a topic of discussion and reflection for years to come. Let us know what you think of the mighty Three Gorges Dam in the comments section below.